There's, what, two idiots left? One guy up here should be right there he is, you fucker. Two guys, wow, I didn't see the stacked uh, enemies there. I just saw the one red dot, I guess. Well, it might be hard to tell on the small preview screen. But it looks like he's trying to run. And watch this shit. I totally could have taken him alive if I wanted to, because those were t those were two perfect leg shots. But I just decided, fuck it, I'm gonna kill him. It doesn't matter. <coughs> I'm trying, waiting for the goddamn loot prompt now, which doesn't seem to be coming up. There it is. Yeah. If I wanted to take him alive, I could have. But I just don't always want to deal with it because I wanted to test a theory. You know how even with the American Standard Bread, if you're carrying an enemy, bandits can always run you down. I want to see if that is, uh... If they can't run you down if you are not carrying extra weight. And if the weight is actually why they're able to run you down regardless of what horse you have. And I do get an answer to that theory in this video. As soon as Bob gets here. Looks like I'm gonna have to do some shooting anyway, because they're already here. Yeah, well, you could use a haircut, John. I'm trying to outrun them now, and I am, believe it or not, but I do decide to stop and kill them. Just because they're too close anyway. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. Now, let's head back to ye jail. And I believe the theory, I don't know if I discussed this yet, but when you kill somebody and uh, take evidence of them back to the uh, jailer, I believe what John does is he cuts off one of their hands. I'm not sure, but I, I read somewhere that that's what it does. Obviously, we don't see that, so, I mean, how would we know if that was what it is or not? Okay, there's a couple more dumbasses coming up behind me, but watch this shit. No. They don't have a fucking prayer. They're not catching me. So, yeah, exactly. When you it, when you have a rider or another person on the back of your horse, it does slow you down enough, regardless of what horse it is, that they can, catch, they can run you down and catch you. These guys are damn near off the radar right now. They cannot catch me, they will not catch me. This horse is just too goddamn fast for them. So, yeah. You're better off, if you, if you don't stop and shoot people, you're better off killing these bounties. It is not required to take any of them alive for completion. You just gotta, just gotta do them. Taking them alive gets you more money, that's it. I mean, if you like money, it's not a bad idea. I mean, those guys didn't have a chance. So good, we've solved that one. I guess John's gonna give you his hand or something. You found that no good piece of dirt. Thank you. And I like how he gave me two hundred and seventy dollars in cash, but it sounds like he handed me a bunch of coins. <laughs> Now, what am I doing now, John? Apparently, I'm jogging through town. Jogging. Just a nice, brisk jog. I'm, you know, not full-on sprinting. Hey, you, the oh, right. This guy challenges me. And I was going to cut this out, but I thought, fuck it. I'll just show it. Because it's actually kind of amusing how I win this yeah, duel. Now, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. How would you like? Oh, you you know, 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 the Quick, no pain. Blah, blah, blah. This guy should have killed me, because, and you'll see why. Exactly. Do you guys see how fucking slow I was on that draw? He should have killed me and then some. <laughs> Another half a second and I was, yeah, I was done. 
But oh well. I got Excuse him me. and that's what matters. Alright. Right now I'm playing poker in Armadillo. And I'll take this guy out in about a minute or so, maybe a little longer, but I wanted to talk about how I got to this point and how I'm getting this done. As you can see, I'm wearing the elegant suit here, guys. I intentionally got caught cheating so I could go outside and kill everyone except for one person. Because in order to get this Walton's Gang outfit piece, you have to eliminate all the other players at the table, but you only have to technically eliminate the last player. You can kill the other two, or three, or however many there are. So I'm raising, he's going all in. I've got Queen-9, which is a fucking beautiful drawing hand, and I hit a 9 on the river. I've got two pair. So I've got the high, I've got high pair, yeah, he better have a straight. And he does, and he's got big slick. Which I can't blame him for going all in on that, but... Pre-flop, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there, I just did that. Which I just said in the last video that that sounded difficult to do, but I guess it really isn't, just time consuming. Yeah, it'll actually show me in a second that I have it, the outfit unlocked. That's why I kept... Yep, there it is. Alright. Walton's gang outfit's done. I'm actually going up here now to change and look at my outfits again. But yeah, so if you're trying to get that one and having trouble with it, just get caught cheating on purpose, kill the other players in a duel. So that there's only one guy left, and there you go. The people you kill will come back in a few days. Which is strange. I still need the, the Mexican outfits yet. A couple of those. I'll, I'm going down to Mexico in a little bit. Changing back to my duster coat. Okay. Now, I'm going for that 45th New Austin area. This one just... Yeah, somebody's screaming, don't care. Yeah, whatever, shut up. This one pissed me off for hours, hours. I cut out like two or three hours of recordings here because I was riding all over New Austin going, where is this goddamn 45th area? I just could not find it. And what pisses me off immensely, and you guys are going to see this real quick here, is it's actually not in New Austin. But for some reason it counts as a New Austin area. Totally unfair, but oh well. I mean, I must have looked at several maps before I could determine, oh, yeah, that's the one that counts towards completion. Okay. See, I'm in Diaz Coronas. I'm in Mexico. You know? And here it is. Old Bacchus Place. It's a 45th area. It's in fucking Mexico, but it counts as a new Austin area. What? Whatever. I mean, that, that just totally, totally had me raging for... I mean, I'm... I, I uh, You guys don't even... Just be glad I threw that commentary out, because, yeah, that's... Not one of my finer moments. <laughs> there it is. 45. Required for completion. Gotta have it. Ugh. Anyway. Kind of nice to have that done, so I don't have to be worrying about that anymore. Alright. I'm gonna do Fort Mercer, because I haven't shown it yet. Go me or the Gunslinger. Yeah, of course. Which, I don't even let this guy do anything. <laughs> he gets me into the fort, and that's it. Hey, amigo, my name is Leon. Hey, Leon. Can you help me get into the fort? A gang is using it as a hideout, and there's a lot of stolen money. We should be able to get in over that wall. You look stronger than me. Climb over, and then find a way to let me in. More or less, that's a nice way of saying, here, why don't you go in there and kill everybody while I stand out here with my revolver up my ass. Yeah, right? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I'll just do all the dangerous stuff. John's kind of peeking over the wall now. Anybody home? Oh look, they've seen me already. That's wonderful. I can't shoot from this position though, so I gotta get up here. Stop that. Just don't shoot me. Switch shoulders, John. Now you can hit him. There you go. That shoulder switch is just too useful. We'll just climb over this here thing. There's a lot of enemies in here, if I remember correctly. 
Not as many as Gaptooth Breach, though, I don't think. That had a ton of enemies. Because it was like two part outside and then the inside, but still, there's a lot of enemies here. That was a good headshot. Next, yeah, good one, John. Hey, G Man, what's up, dude? G Man is online. That's like a, a miracle. He's like never online. Okay, which one of you all shot me? Came from the left side. I don't like getting shot. It, it stains my coat. You stain my duster coat, then we have problems. Here I try and take this guy through the window, but apparently the mechanic does not allow that. So, I guess I'm gonna go for the door. Okay, he's dead. Now I'm shot from the right. Damn it, you're staining my coat. <laughs> you could hit the ground with your hat. Good one, John. I, 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 that is a good insult. I'm gonna actually use that one, I think. Someday. I don't have to use it now. John just did. A lot of red dots over here. Holy shit. I'm reloading. Hang on. Okay. Look at that. You down. Come on. That guy really did not want to die. Yeah, where did they all come from, John? No cover here. Keep moving. Very good. I think every, all the rest of them are going to be down below me. You guys see I play Uncharted a lot? I don't really use Deadeye a whole lot. I mean, I'm using it now, kind of, sort of, but for the most part, I'm just popping out and shooting and then ducking, popping out and shooting and ducking. Uh, speaking of Uncharted, yeah, Uncharted 3 is like three weeks away. <laughs> Not even at this point. Yeah, don't worry, we'll be covering that game, too. So who would actually win between John Marston and Nathan Drake in a gunfight? Probably John because he's just faster. Nathan doesn't have dead eye. <laughs> of course, Nathan could, you know, climb shit better than John could. That could be an, uh, I suppose. I don't know. I guess in an even even combat system, I you know dead eye for John, it would be pretty much even, wouldn't it? And there's more of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did nearly shoot me. Thankfully, he couldn't hit his, that ground with his hat, right? <laughs> Yes, it did. I think there's one more. Nope, that's all of them. <gasps> Fuck it. Why, why climb down when I can just jump off it? What the hell? I think I run around here for a moment, picking up ammo and shit. I'm us I used a revolver There's damn near the whole time, and I'm picking truck. up repeater ammo. What's wrong with this picture? Yeah, I come up here for a second, look around, blah, blah, blah. And then I, yeah, now I'm going to go let the guy in. The gunslinger who did nothing. He just stood around and, you know, listened to the gunfire the whole time. Here, come on in. Thank you. Now come on. This gang will not give up without a fight. I already killed them all. Alerta! But I'm gonna follow him anyway, because he's gonna take me to a whole lot of money. Well, a good amount of money anyway. It looks like these chests are all that is left. You can have whatever is in there. I will look around for what I need. Thank you very much.